On to the next jump scare. Oh! What is up, guys? Flaherty AF here, and welcome to Reminiscence. Uh, it's a game I found on Steam, has really good reviews, so I figured I'd give it a try. Maybe this time. What in the world? It'd be a dope ass clock if that was real. Let's see what's what we do here. Whoa. I've got to find them. I haven't much time. Who are we finding, man? Yeah, I'm let's just let's just close that door. I'll stay here. I don't know who I'm looking for, but sorry. Little Timmy's dead. Ah, oh, he's just headbanging. Jesus Christ. That quick, man? Off the bat. I mean, just, just ready to scare the hell out of me. Mankind's greatest discovery, or mankind's greatest farce. It's that Demento man claims to discover the secret of time travel that a scientific community is baffled to. Mankind's it's been so long. Salute the flag. This must take place back in the day. That radio, these pictures. What we got here? Controversy surrounding Shasta Dam. Dam workers claim unpaid hours. Anti Roadshow? Fuck yeah. Crime rate spiraling down. Well, Timmy's coming to pick up these books. What, what do you mean, roll back? Whoa, what? That is cool as shit, man. I really like the concept. What, ain't this where the headbanger was? I don't know that I want to go in there. See if there's anything else. Yeah. Oh, here's the bedroom. I think you just need to sleep it off, man. I've been drinking a little too much lately. The war's gotten to you. Can you pick stuff up to read? Because I can't... Doctor... It's redacted. You must understand that when presented with such a claim, we openly have our doubts about its legitimacy. I normally wouldn't even bother responding to something as far-fetched as this, but your schematics, as unlikely as it may be, have some legitimacy to them. I would have recommended not speaking to the press first. This really does work. This will change the world as we know it. And I can't guarantee you it will be for the best. What? I mean, the time travel, I guess, that they were talking about on the radio? Turn this up. I can't really hear it. Oh. Of course. Always a creepy-ass basement. It, geez. This song. Does it sound familiar? Let's roll back time. Gotta find what I need to look at though. There we go. It's a big ass clock. Anything in the fridge? We in the future now? Not here. Maybe I should try the clock at the lobby again. What is going on, man? Police are still on the lookout for a 32-year-old woman. And a four-year-old child who've gone missing. Let me guess, those are my. That's my family. It's the only. No. Nah. <sighs> that gave me chills. Creepy ass kid laughter. Oh, a key. I've got to go back to that lobby. Find that old. You forgot the keys to the lobby again. 
Doctor, as per our three last letters, we are sorry to inform you that we do not have a Alan Moreau working here, nor have we ever had such a person employed. We would kindly ask you to stop attempting to contact us on the subject. Furthermore, we at the Research and Development Department have no knowledge of any of, our rel of your relatives participating in the experiment, nor are we aware of any physical what? Physical bars coming to the stat? I don't. Maybe I'm just stupid. And or test subject. Again, we request that you stop contacting us on the subject as you are clearly mistaken, respectively. Jebediah Smith, Pentagon Research and Development. Damn. This dude was wrapped up in some shit. I know some backwoods rednecks in Kentucky. This is what their trailers look like. So this ain't bothering me. There it is, though. Good God. Salute the flag. My fault. It was all my fault. What is, man? Oh, there's a... Pentagon R&D accused of high treason. Uh oh. Pentagon's always in some shit, man. This won't work without a pendulum. Like trillions it's of dollars. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Coming up missing. Pizza butt? Mmm. Love me some butt pizza. So I'm an American physicist. The date is generally Why? <laughs> See, if that happened in my house, there's no way I would walk toward that. Because I know my wife wouldn't be making some stupid ass noises slamming the door like that. Interesting. It's frozen solid? There's gotta be a way to get that out. Hot water, man. No? I'm writing this in the hope that it reaches your eyes only. We need to discuss the side effects of this technology ASAP. The rest of the research team is beyond apathetic as to studying the subject further. There is a direct connection between the storms in Southeast Asia and our experiments. Of that I am certain. The storm's growth co coincides with our use of the technology. I noticed on the newspaper, I didn't, re I didn't read it out loud, but it said something about some crazy storms. More importantly, I'm aware of what happened during the experiment, of what lied in between. Uh-oh. We really must discuss your experience, then to gauge your sanity and your commitment to this project. Because to be completely honest, you have been acting very strange since that encounter. What you mean, it promised you something. Urgently, Jim Dagwood's Pentagon R&D. Scared to turn around. Alright. So I don't think there's anything in the present time I can use, so I wonder... Go back in time... Another note. I know the department keeps asking you this and every time you've chosen to dodge the question, but I really must ask for the sake of my own curiosity and perhaps our safety this question again. Just how on earth did you come up with these schematics? With all due respect, your background in physics, physics doesn't come close to explaining how you came up with such advanced designs. Aliens. This is miles ahead of what the greatest minds have been doing for decades. Usually we'd accuse someone like this of having simply stolen someone else's work, but in your case, 
I don't think anyone alive is capable of coming up with this. These designs are completely foreign. Would appreciate an honest answer. Jim Dagwood's Pentagon R&D. Hmm. This God team has been made damn. today as the Pentagon R&D department confirms they've sent a man back in time and successfully returned him to our time completely unscathed. Hmm. Experts say the applications of such technology are limitless and its benefits are calculable. Yeah. I don't think there's too many benefits with going back in time messing with shit. He's not supposed to. Digital clock in the 50s? We're stuck. Hmm. Oh my god, what was that? What I missed, but that's... God damn, scared the shit out of me. Aha. Uh -huh. God! History has been made today as the Pentagon all... What am I messing with here? God damn, look at this dumb clock in the front room. This door's open now. Bet something's gonna scare the shit out of me. How much one did? What the hell? The no, is is that is that you? What in the world, man? This game is messed up. Hello? Please help. Get out. Why? Die? Yep. Daddy? No, go away. Can't run. Always watch us? Yeah. Let's walk into the dark. Yo, I'm freaked the fuck out, man. Can I close? Okay, close by itself. It's like part A of the pendulum. Clock. Yeah. Are any of my clocks missing pieces? See, I knew there was something about that picture. This dude just completely lost it, man. Don't look at it. January 6, 1950. God. I completely forgot about this clock. Let's roll is, back time. Is that a tape in that cuckoo's mouth? Got it. So now time's moving forward. It's not stuck anymore. Are you happy, honey? On one blessed is the man. The new TV that he brought us. Walk not in this council of the invented north. Now we can watch TV together in daddy's and mommy's room. Band in the way of sinners, north is in the What the hell is it? I don't want to turn around. Done with that? Okay. On to the next jump scare. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that, that was good. That got me really good. to meteorological disasters across the globe and several studies on the various cases of hallucination, delusional tendencies, and a loss or change of long-term yeah. memory. That's crazy. So 
somebody's here. No. Something wrong with your shower. It's not normal. Any new letters? We are contacting you a final time to ask you to stop writing to the Sacramento City Archives as we do not have the information you requested. And we have checked numerous times to make sure that we in fact do not have the information. We have no records of redacted, a redacted, and furthermore we have no record of a wedding involving you or the previously mentioned redacted. We are suspecting this to either be a juvenile prank or that you should seek professional help. I think I need professional help. Definitely the latter. If your case is the latter, it is. We wish you the best. If you are the former, we will be contacting authorities if this continues. Thanks, Josh. The use of consumer-grade time travel technology has been outlawed today. Tables on the ceiling. I see numbers. Damn it, I don't have time for this. I've got to go back. God damn, man. Alright, said go back, so I wonder if we go back. We arrange a lot. Got an interesting way of decorating your old house. I don't think that's. Later this week, the Time Machine's inventor releases a new book titled The End of Regret, in which he claims that, with his invention, none shall ever feel regret again. Huh. But why regret something you did if you can simply go back in time and do it over? Yeah, really. It's messing with shit you're not supposed to. That, what's that supposed to feel? I'm going to confide in you. Yeah, we have data that shows a link between the meteorological disasters and our usage of time travel technology. That said, you're a smart man. You know what the consequences would be if such information went public. And you're smart enough to understand that whatever catas catastrophe is going on on the other side of the world will be properly resolved in time. We can't risk the amazing economical, gro economic, economical growth that countries had thanks to your technology. I'm sure you understand the ramifications of undergoing such an investigation. Oh, yeah. And would ask for your cooperation in keeping this under wraps. Your silence is golden. Christopher Sheffield, Pentagon R&D Department Director. Getting letters from the bigwigs now. And that's all too. God, fuck. Three seven eight four two one. Oh my God! Oh, is it blood? It is blood. Unveiled what he claims to be time traveling technology to the world. New developments on the Sacramento disappearing story. We have confirmation that the storms have reached Miami. Authorities are organizing a moot to decide if an evacuation shall be ordered. Stand by for official instructions. Big ass hand. It what happens to your friends, you cast? A perversion of a heavenly father's grand design. Beware, my brothers and sisters, or the devil walks among us this hour, and he bears a medallion made in a brass of Gomorrah in the land of Saddam. Okay. Look, uh... I don't care about no frequent... God, no fuck thing. you, These man. These accusations are clearly a communist plot against the good progress being made here in America. This game is really good at just... 
evidence of the Sacramento disappearance to his life, as shit, police man. are suspecting you to be responsible. The man who scorched his wife and child alive, supposedly in the name of progress, only for a world to hold you in ridicule. Well, that's the true. You deserve the whatever happens to you, man. As police are suspecting you to be responsible. Late. Too late. I still have time. What the fuck, man? Three seven eight four two one. That's the code to the safe. A record. So how can you just? Oh, yellow. See what's behind these doors. Yeah, no. Yeah. Let's go with this one. Hey, kid. It can't be too late. It can't be. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Oh, well. Officials confirm you caused all of this. Well, I mean. Go. The devil. Oh my god! supposed to remember I was it was supposed to be over I don't think it's ever gonna end buddy was was that always here no it it couldn't be I don't think so man can't move late it is too Late. You have fulfilled your purpose admirably. Drunk on your own. Oh, mind. yes, you killed us, you Turning left us. Onto your world open with every step. You could have stopped it, you know. But now, you are too late. Cling to the false hope I have given you. Return and be laid. Does the furniture possess? It matters not. Soon enough, there will be none. But. Oh my, what in the 
fuck? I'm not gonna lie, man, that was a pretty good game for being, you know, absolutely free, but... I mean, that game scared the living shit out of me more than... <laughs> more than I'd like to admit, but that was pretty good. So his choices, and maybe his, his greed... Uh, led to the deaths of what he cared most about. Or not, I don't know. I'm a fuck, I'm an idiot. Who knows? It probably went way over my head. But anyways, if you liked the video, uh, don't, don't forget to give me a, a big meaty thumbs up and consider subscribing for more mediocre content in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.